right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, we really don't see a lot of guys in MMA with boxing skills on this level. He certainly could have gone on to great things as a professional boxer, but he believes he has the best hands in the sport, and he will be looking to prove as much here tonight. And he has the background to prove that, right? He's not saying something that is not true. He does have the ability to say that. He can say he has the best hands in the game because he has shown it. And when you watch a box, when you watch a guy go into a fight with this young man and think, that it does not matter what his credentials are. He is going to stand with them and prove that he's better. They usually will go to sleep because no action is wasted. The jab starts it all. He fights behind this beautiful, educated jab, jabbing high, jabbing low, and then the overhand right is unbelievable. It's his kill shot, he calls it, and he lands it all the time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 180 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Pantera. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds, fighting out of New York, Iron! Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here now. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jumps. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just out of range with the big right hand. That one's looking in. Nice strike. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Watch the punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. More than one, more than one. Big punch lands over the top. 
How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, he lands the Superman punch. <laughs> oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Look at the turtle in that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice. Three minutes to go here, round one. Ooh, what a punch. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. He's grabbing the back of the head. Pulling forward on the head and landing those beautiful punches. Really's got his opponent on notice here. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Superman punch lands. There's no tell on that leg kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Big kick lands. Hands up, hands up. It's nice loop at once. Ooh, blocks the shot. He loaded up there on that high kick. with that punch. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab. After jab, after jab, he's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Oh, big punch land. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Watch these to the body. Not there. Big kick lands. Jab, cross, high kick. Ten seconds to go. <laughs> Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Stop. All right, there's the end of the round. We'll show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down. And most times, you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out. It landed right on the sweet spot, and he hurt his opponent very badly. Last round. He was all over you, but you're better than that. Come on now, let's shake it out. Let's get back in there, let's get... Ready? All right, round two. With the right hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Trying to kick the leg out. Goes back to that left kick once again. Had him whip his hip into that kick. Back and forth we go here. Big body kick. 
that's a big strike right there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Real sneaky box here. Just out of range with that right hand. Still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh! Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Strong defense there to block the shot. Inside leg kick lands and immediately a mark on his opponent. Nice. Unable to connect with the right. A little single collar tie there. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, maybe the opponent thought the jab was coming. Instead, the feet left by the side. Yeah, sometimes you got to just mix it up. You cannot allow a guy to get a beat on you. Nice kick. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop it. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It starts to elevate because he knows that he can get the pin. Nice punch. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Hands on the face. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, nice jab. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big kick land. Real quick leg kick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Ooh, what a punch. Big leg kick lands. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Third round underway. 
punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Out of range with that one. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Just a slip there. Great punch landed with so much power. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, straight right. <laughs> Punches blocked. The guard lands the right hand. Beautiful kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. What a punch. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Nice head kick. Just over three minutes now to go. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Good punch. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Just over two minutes now to go. Fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Oh. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. They continue to improve. Whoa! All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Back to the feet. throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. Head kick. 20 seconds left. Good punch land. Final seconds here. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. 
You wonder if the offensive fighters are going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Big head kick land. Big punch land. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Back mount now. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Gates up to his feet, very nice. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Back to the feet now. Three minutes to go. Nice strike. Game of inches right there. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds. Oh! Oh, my goodness. No telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that added all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Bruce Buffer is in the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve will be has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 17 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout. Right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And gotta be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight he did exactly that. Congratulations.